Hello, my name is Dinesh Sastry, and uh, I wanted to make some election predictions. Uh, in 2016, many of us made uh, election predictions that didn't come true. Uh, the, the popular vote came true, but not the Electoral College. And that's because the 2016 ele election was not a logical, divine event. There was a lot of interference. There was foreign interference. It was more as if the dragon, not God, but the dragon put Trump into power. And the time of the dragon is short as you know. And um, it was Russia, it was the Trump campaign, etc. On May 30th, I put out on social media an electoral map. Uh, and the, the polls throughout the month of June have seemed to buttress the, uh, those predictions. Uh, they've uh, uh, supported those predictions as soon as I put that map out. And that was basically to say that the Democrats would win the Obama 2008 election plus Georgia, Arizona, and uh, Texas. Now, uh, he, Obama did win Indiana. I tended to put Indiana, Missouri, and L Louisiana as toss-up states that the Democrats can win if it develops into a tsunami election for them, which I believe it will. So if they, if they get those three toss-up states, the Democrats would win 434 electoral college votes or a little bit more than that. They'll win 245 House seats, increasing their lead in the House, and they'll win 53 to 61 Senate seats, taking over the Senate. And uh, basically, these new toss-up states, North Carolina, which Obama did win, and Ohio, which Obama did win, and uh, Florida, which Obama did win, but Arizona, Texas, and Georgia, Obama did not win, but I believe that the Democrats can win this time. So it'll truly be a tsunami. It'll be divinely inspired this time. The time of the dragon is short. So Russia won't be able to interfere the way they did last time. Uh, the social media won't uh, 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 broadcast as much fake news as last time. And Trump won't be able to call this a rigged election because he'll lose in a landslide. Something like the Barry Goldwater 1964 landslide against Lyndon Baines Johnson or the Walter Mondale landslide loss against Ronald Reagan, something of that nature. Although demographics have shifted and certain red states are no longer play, in play anymore, so it, can't, it won't be the same as those elections, but it'll be something to that effect after we've had many close elections in recent years. Okay, so those are my election predictions for 2020, November 3rd. I hope they come true. Take care. Bye.